Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Aveda Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the series where we are trying to learn Python by solving interview questions from top tech companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. If you are preparing for any of these roles, this is a great series to follow and build your concepts. So yeah, let's jump right in. In this video, we are going to solve this question on status scratch regarding users with many searches. This question has been asked in meta interviews and it's a great question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst, or ML engineer roles. The question reads, count the number of users who made more than five searches in August of 2021. So we are given a data frame called every searches and expected output is a panda series. So basically one particular number, which represents how many people have more than five searches in August of 2021. So let's inquire about this data frame called every searches. So it has five different columns where we have the date, search ID, user ID, age group and search query. Okay. If we look at the data types, so date has date time data type. So whenever there is a date time data type involved, it is always better to import date time library because it is very powerful to work with dates. Okay. So now once we have this, then what we need to basically do is firstly we need to make sure that we are only keeping rows where dates belong to August of 2021. So we need to perform a Boolean indexing using the date, but we cannot directly do it. Firstly, we need to convert this into a format that we want. We only want the month and year. So how can we do this is we can take, okay, take the date column and then use the date time dot strf time method and then we basically can change the format right so we want only the year part and then want the month part and that should be equal to equal to 2021 August, right? So now this is going to give you list of true and false values. And once you pass this into the original data frame, that is going to re return you all the list of rows where the date is August of 2021. So if I go ahead and run this, so you, you can now see, right? So all the dates, August of 2021. Now, once you have this, then what we can do is for every particular user, we can try to find how many number of searches there are in August of 2021. So what we can do is we can do group by the user ID and then we have learned about dot aggregate method. So dot aggregate, let's, you know, uh, name the final column as number of searches or number of searches. And then what we are basically doing is let's take the search ID and count the number of unique search IDs. So there are possibilities of repetition. So what we are going to do is instead of counting, because counting will count all the duplicate values as well. So we are counting unique values. So we do n unique. Okay. And since we grouped by user ID, let me go ahead and reset index so that we can, you know, uh, see that, okay, which user has how many searches. Let me go ahead and run this. So now if you look at it, you have various user IDs and the number of searches they performed in August of 2021. Now we are only concerned about when the number of searches is greater than five, because that is what the question says. Users who made more than five searches. So here we are going to use a method called dot query. So when you write write SQL queries, right? So we write from this particular table, select something, and then the things that you write after the where clause, right? So basically you can filter using the dot query method. So here, what we can do is you can write dot query. What you do is you take the number of searches column, number of searches, and keep only those rows where number of searches is greater than five. So now if I go ahead and run this, so it is going to keep only two rows where number of searches were greater than five. So once we have this, then what we can do is we can just take the user ID column and count. Remember we have grouped by user ID, so they are going to be unique anyway. So let's take the user ID column and then simply perform the count. So dot count. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So yeah, this is two. If I go ahead and submit it, this is going to pass all the test cases. So yeah, very simple. And what we need to basically do was firstly, we had to perform a Boolean indexing to make sure that the dates are in August of 2021. Once we had that, then we grouped by every user ID to get the number of different searches that were made by the particular user in that particular year month. And then we reset the index so that we can see that. And then when we use the dot query method to basically filter for number of searches greater than five, and then we count it. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.